Richard! This is quite an adventure for me. Anything new? Nothing very important. Fred. Yes, sir. We're picking up Jackson at the toll gate. Right, sir. District Attorney's Office. Any luck? Fellows is not on duty. We'll check at his home this afternoon. Inspector Jackson, Professor Wanley. How do you do, Inspector? Pleased to meet you, sir. Oh, uh, excuse my left hand. I have a little cut. Oh, yes. How's it coming? All right, it's nothing. How did you say you did it? Well, uh, I was opening a can in the kitchen the other night, and the can opener slipped. What was in the can? Poison ivy? <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid that, that was pure stupidity. Uh, the next day, I was looking for a lost golf ball, and evidently I got into some poison ivy. You must have scratched it. That's a pretty bad infection. Well, it's an awful nuisance, I know that. Is, is this your case, Inspector? For the moment. They're all his cases, all the tough ones. Inspector Jackson's head of the Homicide Bureau. Oh. Anything new since I left? Well, we picked up that woman this morning. Good. What's she got to say for herself? Well, we'll see her when we get there. They're bringing her up. Inspector? Good morning, Captain. You know Mr. Laylaw, don't you? You bet. Very glad to see you, Mr. Laylaw. Glad to see you, Captain. And this is Professor Wanley? That's right. Captain Kennedy. Pleased to meet you, Captain. Pleased to meet you, Professor. That woman here yet? Beck has her in the car. Well, let's go over this layout first, then we'll get to her. All right, Inspector. Over here. Now, here is where he parked his car. The tire tracks are gone, of course. But we have cast some photographs. They're good with 716s between 15 and 20,000 miles. Standard equipment on two or three popular make-up cars. The motorcycle officer on duty remembers seeing a Cadillac at the traffic signal. That may be worth keeping in mind. Did he see who was in it? Yes, the driver, a man, but he doubts very much if he could identify him. So I don't think that's going to lead us anywhere. Well, anyway, he got the body here. Where'd you he take it? I'll show you. We got cast of his shoes going and coming. Richard! What? You going to be the guide? Oh, am I going right? As straight as an arrow. Professor, eh? Hey? <laughs> Say, you think we'd better look into this, Mr. Laylaw? <laughs> well, uh, that's very funny. I wasn't even thinking where I was going. I, I was just thinking what the inspector said. That's all right, Richard. Don't get excited. We rarely arrest people just for knowing where the body was. <laughs> I don't imagine our killer was very familiar with this spot because the fence was too near the road for his purposes. At any rate, he couldn't go much further without a great deal of difficulty. So he just dumped it over down there. Now, there isn't anything in particular to see, except you want to keep the whole setting in mind. He tore his coat, probably his sleeve, as he lifted it over because we picked up a couple of shreds of woolen fiber. Couldn't have been from Mazza's clothes. No, different material. And we've got a sample of blood from this barb. He certainly didn't pick himself an easy job. Man's had weighed close to 200 pounds, you know. Yes, it must have been pretty tough going. Yes, especially at night. Well, yes, it may have been at night. I suppose so. But I was thinking of it as early morning, along about daylight. Well, I, I thought the paper said night. Anything else, sir? I can't think of anything else. You, Richard? Well, why ask me? I'm, I'm simply bowled over by the amount of information the police have got out of such apparently insignificant details. Well, it's hardly spectacular. Merely police routine so far. But there is one thing we have in our department that is really worthwhile, Professor. What's that? Patience. I imagine so. Want to see the woman? Might as well. What's that for? Oh, I had one of the men put that there this morning so you wouldn't brush against that bush. It's poison ivy. Very thoughtful, Captain. Well, too late to do me any good. That's right. 
Looks as if you'd have a little more explaining to do, Richard. <laughs> Closing in on me, huh? If you'll only confess, Professor, we can wrap up this whole case before noon. No, not me. I'm afraid you'll have to work for this one, Inspector. There you go. Never any consideration for us poor cops. Let's have the woman. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Don't mind, I'll go sit in the car for a little while. I'm not feeling very well. What's the matter, Richard? It's not serious, is it? Oh, no, 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 not at all. You, you go on. I'll be all right. Well, if you need me... No, no, no. You, you go right ahead. 